I do not own the rights to this music. Tap Ben KC. Tap Ben KC. Do not own the rights to this song. What's up, what's up, KC? What's up, what's up, KC? Got Sigma sitting there. Say, what's up, Siggy? You waving your tail? You waving your tail? Mm. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Come on, baby. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Oh. Say hi, Sigma. Say hi. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. He, he ran me around about three blocks yesterday chasing him, so we've been beefing. He didn't even get to sleep with his mama last night. He had to sleep in his little dog bed. So I think he's still feeling some type of way. But he'll be all right. All right, KC, all right, KC. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Talk about this respect. Respect. They say put some respect on it. Can I see? Yeah, sit up here, baby. All right, all right, all right. So what I want to bring awareness to is I'm starting to think that it's like two or three different motherfucking or four, five, six different levels of respect or um, definitions, shall I say, not levels, definitions of respect because motherfuckers got it fucked up. And I just, I just want to clarify a few things, okay? Um... So what I did was, I just wrote down the word respect. And if y'all, you know, y'all got a dictionary next to you, whatever, pull that motherfucker out. So you can, you know, if that's what you're trying to get the correct, correct reading definition of it, because we all grew up with a certain level of respect that was taught to us. So at this point we need to um, maintain the teaching so that all of our children and our grandchildren will understand what this shit do because it goes a long way and from what I've seen in my opinion they just got so many different you know definitions of it you know so what I did was I wrote it down, and this is what I came up with for the most part. Um, some of it was kind of hard because you want to have two, three, four, or five different, you know. So when I wrote it down, I did, you know, just a spelling straight down and then just put words, you know, to just throw out there of what it really means. And for our... I did get, um, for the respect that I know, it's like relating to others, um, just really understanding one, you know? And then on the other side, I got just straight the fuck reckless, you know? Just straight, you don't give a fuck, you just, you know, you, you don't care, you know? You just straight reckless to people. and their hearts and their feelings. Um, anybody that watches my podcast, you know that how I feel about um, the protection of the heart. So we've talked about that several times because I'm a protector of the heart. Again, so those of you that don't know, you know now. Um, the E for mine is basically... Um, 
I came up with elevate because elevate to me as a person you can you know really speak to someone and in my opinion you know and just talk to them as if they were even if they're not kin to you as if they were kin to you as if that they could be an outsider person you just met and you just want to just you know tell them hey you look great today this and this and this or just give them any kind of any kind of um encouragement words of encouragement we've gotten so far from because words mean a lot and they they hold on and they stick and all of that type of shit um that's a whole nother show but just to elevate their mind and you know just like i said it could be a person you don't know you just walk in the store and whatever and hey how you doing you look nice today or i like your hair or, you know that's okay you can do that okay the other thing i came up was um did I say the one for the disrespect was inconsiderate? Just being not mindful of anyone's feelings and not caring and, you know, just inconsiderate. Just don't give a damn, you know, about nobody. Um, for the S, I came up with two. And it was basically, it's, this is deep for me, so the words that I come up with are definitely probably not gonna be the things that you would come up with. And it's just like, surrender, you know? It's okay to surrender your heart or your feelings or, you know, as far as this respect goes, surrendering is the main um, glue to this, I think, because when you surrender, then you're, 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 you're talking about, you know, everything that's going on with you and you're instilling, you know, your comfort zone with someone that you trust. So it may even be God, you know. Um, I'm going through this one by one because when I talk about this, I want y'all to understand where I'm coming from, okay? Because I've just, I've just seen so much disrespect in the world, period, you know? And it's so sad that we as the people don't recognize it, choose not to recognize it, or really don't give a damn, you know? Um, On the disrespectful side, it can be a number of things. Superficial was my main one, um, spiteful. Um, just angry, you know, fake. period. Um, for my P, I got protector. For my good side and my disrespectful, it was phony. Like, you just phony fake and all that. You know, you just all fucked up. Um, e was encouraging on my good side and on the other side, it was evil. I didn't want to go too deep with that. Um, Consider it was my good one for that side and consider it and caring and all of that, you know, of one, one's feelings and one's mind, one's soul um, was mine for the uh, good side. And on the other side, it was, it was kind of up in the air. Um, I did try to figure out 
different ways to go about that one because it was really a lot of things and um, cowardice was one, but it kind of just didn't fit for me as far as the C. So I came up with just careless. You just don't give a damn, you know, fuck everybody, you know. Um, for the T on the good side was trustworthy because you always want to be able to trust the person that you are affiliated with, dealing with, you know, that you may, you know, have that strong bond with that relationship. So trustworthy was my um, one on the good side. Um, on the bad side, the disrespectful. Translucent. And I just think that we all should take this respect to the highest level ever because that can like, it's a main part of life, okay? It, it can make you or break you. It can, it can destroy you. You know, one disrespectful act can take your life. It can, one disrespectful act can just end you, your, your, um, it can end your, your career, you know, be on your job for 25 fucking years, 30 years, and then you just disrespect the wrong person, and then you just out of there, and it's like you ain't even been to working there all them fucking years, they don't get no fuck, they was waiting to get your ass out of there any damn way, that's just how this life is. So I just think that respect just really, really, really needs to stand for something. And what I want to touch on is respecting your parents. Now, I have to speak for just me in general, because I tell you, I speak from experience. I can't talk for this person or that motherfucker or him, but I got to talk for me. And disrespect is something that I don't tolerate. And I just get so sick of a motherfucker just thinking if they can say any motherfucking thing and be totally disrespectful. Now, at the end of the day, it has to be given to get it. But I feel like when you're a parent, you can say what the fuck you want to say and do what the fuck you want to do as far as, you know, when it comes to your child. And I mean, I'm not talking about busting a motherfucker inside the head or none of that. But you should be able to voice your opinion, and it's okay to agree to disagree. But the disrespect just is too much for me. So what I do is I just get to write motherfuckers off. Because I ain't got to deal with your disrespectful ass, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord is in the Bible. Like, go get your motherfucking Bible out. And, oh, I should not be cussing why I said that. Lord, forgive me. But go get your Bible out, and you get to reading, and it's going to tell you, you know, not to disrespect your parents or your days will be numbered, you know? And I, I'm a firm believer in that, and I don't disrespect my parents, and I don't care. It don't matter if your mama's a crackhead. It don't matter if she been in jail all her fucking life. It don't matter if she fucking selling ass on the street to pay for you to make it, your bills, you know, or whatever. If she got a, a, a habit or whatever the fuck it is. Me, myself, personally, I think that crackheads and motherfuckers that's all fucked up, they kids love them harder and stronger and respect them even more than anything. But when you're doing right and you do right by your motherfucking kids and then they just totally disrespectful and it's, it's just too much, you know? And I, I've never had to experience this before and it, it bothers me, you know, because my children never were disrespectful and I'm not speaking to all my children now. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I ain't raised no fucked up kids that's just constantly disrespecting me or nothing like that. Um, everybody does grow and they do blossom into their own self and that's fine and they move on with their lives and their families and that's okay too but at the end of the day don't ever forget that bitch that birthed you because at the end of the day she gonna be there until the last breath in me I'm gonna be here as your mother so whoever's going through this I'm gonna tell y'all 
this shit is crazy. I know I'm not the only one because I have friends and we talk about this shit. But this disrespect is just too fucking much and it got to stop, you know? You go out here and you motherfucking treat another motherfucker better than you treat your own mama, your own father, you know, your own grandparents, your own brother, your own sister. Where the fuck is this shit going to end at? You know, where is the fucking loyalty that I was talking about earlier in the week, okay? And that's why I have to do these Tuesdays because I have to just vent and get this shit off my chest because it just, it's too much going on. And motherfuckers just really be out of line, you know? And I was always taught if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say a motherfucking thing at all. So if you gotta be talking all crazy and, you know, being reckless and then you wanna call yourself, you know, doing what you do as far as, you know, picking sides or whatever, then that's what you do. You know, you know I'm for right is right and wrong is wrong and I don't give a fuck who you are. If you right, you right, and if you wrong, you wrong. And that's just what the fuck it is. You know. But when it comes to mind, right or wrong, I'm riding, and that's what I do. And that's what people do that is loyal to their fucking kids. No matter what, you're going to ride for yours. Okay? I just, you know, it, it, it bothers me. I mean, I see, I've seen all my life little white Caucasian kids in the store just disrespecting their parents, like totally like cussing them out and, you know, kicking them and fighting them and this and that. But you know what? That ain't shit compared to being disrespectful and calling a motherfucker out their name. And, you know, it's nothing compared to that, you know. I, I, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, do it in public. Shit, don't don't do it on the phone to do it over. I mean, pull up and holler at me face to face. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hard to find. And that's what you know is really getting on my damn nerve. I mean, it's just it's too much. Like, I don't disrespect my children. I don't you know I don't talk about them. And when I do have something to say about them, I'm saying to a motherfucker that they don't even talk to and don't be around. And that's gonna be my best friend, okay? And she's never gonna cross me. She's never gonna say shit, cause that's my best friend. And once y'all get y'all best friend, and or y'all, but some of y'all got best friends, I'm sure. But are they solid? Are they a hundred? You know? And that's where that respect comes in again. You know? It just keeps reoccurring. Respect, respect, respect. And we gotta, I mean, before this Black Lives Matter shit, all this, this respect gotta be hand in hand right now. You women out here, y'all tripping with your boyfriend, wanna bust his windows out, and if he with somebody else, that's a boyfriend. He ain't even married to your ass. Respect something, okay? The nigga was at your house last night and he wanna be with this bitch today, okay? It's not your husband. Respect something. Ain't that right, Sid? But I just, you know, it just, it just, it's so many levels to this shit. It's just, it, it, I can go on and on and on about respect. You know, I just, I never was a disrespectful child. I never cursed at my mother. Like, I'm not gonna cuss my mama out and you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not calling my mama out her name and my daddy. I'm not doing that, never. Okay? Nobody has any guide on raising their children. When I had my child, I was 14 years old, okay? And you do the best you can do. And at some point, they're not gonna agree with some things you have done. My philosophy and my opinion is, change the pattern. Don't do the same shit that a motherfucker did to you if you didn't like it. And that's what I done with my kids. All the shit my mama did, like cussing us out before we went to school and talking bad to us and talking about our daddies and shit in front of us, I didn't do that shit to my kids. Cause I didn't like that shit. 
But where do you get your motherfucking job well done? God damn. It's just, it's crazy. This, re this respect is, is deep. When you have your children at the age that I had my first child, and y'all check it out, we never had no lights. We never went without food. We never been evicted. We never had no gas. None of that shit. You know, I, I never, my kids didn't live like that, okay? And we talking about a 14, 15 year old. And no, I wasn't with boss ass niggas that sold drugs and all that, okay? My first son's father, we went to school together. He was a thug, whatever, but he wasn't no boss ass nigga. He didn't have no money. So after I was done with him. My first husband, my two kids' father, that I was married to forever, He wasn't a boss when I met him. He worked at DocuSword. He had a normal job. The game chose him. And that's why it didn't last. Very short lived. Do I think I put my children in harm's way? Of course. Because when he started living that lifestyle, I should have left. And I'm telling you young women this today because when people come to rob you, they ain't coming to just to rob, they killing y'all. They killing y'all kids. All over this money and this disrespect. So if I can be faulted for anything, it probably could be that, but they were too young to even know that this even happened. So it takes me back to how alcoholics, crackheads, meth heads, motherfucking people that just never in their kid's life had their kids, give them to their mamas to raise and all that, get all this respect. I mean, I don't get it. And yeah, I was stern. But my kids probably can count on one or two times how many times I whooped their ass, okay? I wasn't that type of parent because I can look at my children and they will understand. What I need you guys to know is that Respect goes a long way, and disrespect don't take you nowhere. Might end up getting you in your grave. We all got the same 24 hours. Like I say, what you gonna do with yours? Life's too short. We still got these people dying every fucking day. And we still talking about Black Lives Matter. Really? I wanna, I mean, I, 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 know it, but I know it matters in my heart and in my soul, but I wanna see, you know? I wanna, I wanna go a whole week without a killing. I want to go a whole month without us having to go to three, four services. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see next week at this time how many people has been murdered from this day, from right now until 
next Tuesday when I come on the air and see how many deaths we, we, we come up with. Bet y'all can't get zero. Bet y'all can't. And it's crazy because I got audience all over the world, you know, here, there, and everywhere. And I got to sit here and talk about Kansas City and the death rate and disrespect and how to get your life taken. Ain't that sad? It's sad. We got to stay prayed up. While y'all at home teaching these lessons to these babies. Because they ain't going back to school no time soon. Go on and write down respect and put it up on the wall. And teach them every day what the definition is. So it being be instilled. And they know when they go out here that it don't, it, 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 it don't behoove you to be disrespectful. And it don't get you nowhere. And the number one thing is to always respect your parents, your grandparents, your elders, anybody that's older than you, I feel as an elder. Respect them. And if you can't do that, then don't say nothing at all. That's just where I'm at with it. Nothing at all. Y'all have a good night. About to get on over here to this Anchor Radio and talk about this story. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. It's going to be a real interesting story tonight. Um, I also want to just let y'all know that um got a lot going on in my life right now. Trying to, you know, get my studio set up just how I want it. And it's coming along, but I ain't quite there yet. But like I said, when, when it's done, done, y'all going to know guarantee you that so um let me go ahead and end this so i can go ahead and start on this anchor at eight um like i said everybody got the same 24 hours we're gonna see if we can go a whole week without a death and the mo kcmo i can't speak i can't talk for st louis and you know nothing like that but in my town in kansas city can we just have this respect for this week and not kill nobody? Can we just, you know, put the guns down this week? You know, can we stop all the disrespect? Somebody stepping on your shoes ain't disrespectful. It'd be an accident. Excuse me, works. Goes a long way. Try it. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. All right, my Oak City babies. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.